Not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our... Ready then. Check through. Hopefully not die a billion times like I did last time, maybe. That would be good. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me, any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. I do not know if it is possible, and I fear that had the pain been more intense, the consequences would have been more extreme. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. If you think a connection to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. I confess its nature eludes me as well. But the bond is strong, and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. Stream mess up again. For some reason, I feel like it's frozen.
Hang on a second. Trying to fix the settings, something's break. Now it's doing it. Okay, we're going to do this a different way. Choosing to break. Why is this giving me so many problems right now? Already off to a bad start.
does not matter where all part. The planet Telos, decimated by the Sith during the Jedi Civil War. Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. Ask. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. Yes, the Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Indeed. And was it the same as before? If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own and exiled them as they did you. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. Life never ceases to teach, fallen Jedi. It is only when one ceases to listen that we grow still and die. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. Uh, much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. It is a tale you already know well.
Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. Indeed, the Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. Yes, I have heard tales of Malakor V and Revan's part in it. I know you served there in that final battle. It must have been a terrible thing. You speak the truth. The war's end was merely another beginning, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated at Manacor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle. And so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. If you had followed them, then you would have learned the lesson of a follower. Perhaps it was fortunate you did not. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak. And that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. No one knows, certainly not I. Korriban lies in ruins, Revan is gone, and the blade of war he promised to stab into the heart of the galaxy has withdrawn. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Perhaps. It is sometimes difficult to find the truth in the Jedi Civil War. Was it the Republic that defeated Malak, or was it Revan? If it was Revan, then the Republic was never truly tested. A culture's teachings and most importantly, the nature of its people. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now, we shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire, p and this new threat, it is a quiet thing. The Republic was never what was important ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper. I would see to that fool in the cockpit. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first, and he... If I were you,
Switch dark side. Oh, yeah. I'm going full dark side. That's good. Let's save real quick. How's our passenger? She's still aging? Yeah, to you, maybe. I don't usually hear much beyond fool and imbecile. She's lucky she's a Jedi. Or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be all right. I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? Love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or so I hear. Uh, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. <laughs> yeah, well, you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought, some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor is long overdue. <laughs> Try so? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Yeah, unique how? Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said any. Should be there.
If I were you, ask. Uh, Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blame it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas Mining Facility. <laughs> That as it may be, the circumstances of your arrival, due to the nature of the investigation. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to... Yes, that includes you. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. As I said, this is only temporary. I'm sorry, but you're... Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't... Eh? I'm more than skilled enough to work the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually.
Security cameras up. What? Man down! All right, Jedi. Cooperate. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed. Who's that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in residential mod. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima rep. The rest of you come. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Again, I'll clear any visitors. But just to be on the safe side. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paraga? You know what? Forget it. As long as... We cannot stay in any one place too long. I must meditate on this. Yeah, you go... Then listen to me. There is much weight. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. A lightsaber. Such a weapon does not make a... The knowledge has already been imparted. Very... I confess, it seems... When it seems... A... The Jedi cra You may have all others may come. Very Look. Well, the signs are starting to show. Okay, I actually have to save here. I have to go do something. Um I should be streaming again tomorrow. I apologize it was stream, but there's I have to go do. So uh, I appreciate for those that watched this or showed up. I should be streaming again hopefully tomorrow at 10 uh, p.m. Eastern. If y'all want to show up then 